To power on the RS, simply press the power button on the left-hand side of the display. The display will boot up. And after it completes booting, then you'll see the start screen. Simply touch to start. And that will take you to the home screen. This video is a quick introduction to one of our newest interactive displays, the TrueTouch RS series. And we're going to show you the new user interface that makes it even easier to navigate than ever before. When you turn on the RS, the first thing it gives you is this start screen. And very simply, it wants you to press to start. And when you do that, it takes you right to the new home screen. And from here, everything is laid out in a very comprehensive fashion, making it easy for you to get to the source or the application you need to use. Starting over here on this side, as you can see, these buttons are laid out in a way that's very easy to understand. This button right here gets you right to the built-in Windows PC. The one labeled Screen Sharing gets you to our TrueCast Express application, which allows you to wirelessly cast from mobile and PC devices to the panel. This gets you to our embedded whiteboard, a built-in web browser, a built-in file viewer for managing content directly from the display, and a gadget button that allows you to access all the other embedded applications on the display. Down here I have an add button and the add button is great because it allows me to access shortcuts, one touch shortcuts to any application or source that I need to. When I touch the add button it gives me this menu and I can choose a port for a source, I can choose a Windows program on the built-in PC, and I can choose a gadget, one of the embedded applications on the display. I'll choose the Office Suite as an example, and as you can see, one touch access to the application. On this side of the display, you can see that I have all of the inputs lined up right here, and then I have this screen. When I touch the input that I need to use, it will give me a live preview on this screen. And when I touch the screen, It gives me access to that source and I can immediately begin to work. Here in the Windows environment, this is a good opportunity to show you our side toolbars. I have one on either side of the display. I can move these toolbars up and down and using two fingers, I can collapse them and I can also expand them again to get access to the toolbar buttons. Starting here at the bottom, this gives me one touch access to the built-in PC. This allows me to back out of a current application. The one that looks like a house takes me to the home screen. This is for the embedded whiteboard. And the one at the top is for the screen annotation tools. And when I touch that, it gives me my writing tools so I can annotate over anything I have on the screen. What I can also do is access an additional menu using two fingers and swiping up from the bottom. And that gets me access to other features of the display, but it also allows me to disable and re-enable the side toolbars. When we go back to the home screen, the last button I'll show you is the one here that looks like a person exiting a door. That actually ends the session. So when you're finished with class or your meeting, touch this button and it allows you to go right back to the start screen. And that's our quick introduction to the RS, one of our newest interactive displays with a new user interface making it easier than ever to navigate around the system. There are a couple of good ways to access the built-in PC on the RS. The first is to simply touch the Windows button.
And the second way is to touch the built-in PC source button twice. Either of those methods will get you to the Windows desktop. To connect a laptop to the RS, you need to have two cables, HDMI for video and sound, and USB for the touch port. Connect one end of each cable into the appropriate ports on the RS, HDMI, and then USB in the touch port. You want to make sure that you actually plug the USB cable into the proper touch port that matches each HDMI, otherwise touch won't respond. Once you've done that, then plug the other ends of the cables into your laptop in the appropriate ports. When the cables are connected, you can access the source from this end of the screen. When the True Touch detects that something is plugged in, it will actually light up the button associated with that port in white. And then to access the source, when you touch the button once, it will give you a live preview of that source on this screen. And then once you see that, you can actually touch the screen to access that source. The RS makes it very convenient to access files from a USB thumb drive. I've got a USB thumb drive right here. I'm going to insert it in one of the front USB ports on the RS. My USB drive will light up and then I can access the file commander to get access to those files. Touch the file viewer button and it will open the file commander and from here there are two places to access the USB thumb drive. The first is on the left hand menu where it says USB storage and there's also a USB storage button right here on the main screen and when you touch it it will give you access to the files. From here you can scroll through the list and choose whichever file you want. I have a PDF right here so I'm going to go ahead and touch which will activate the appropriate app and from here you can access the embedded annotation tools to annotate over the content. Choose the top button, the annotation tools will appear Select the color and the thickness that you desire, and then annotate. And that's how you can access content from a USB thumb drive on the RS. The file commander is a very convenient way to get access to content when you don't have a computer at your disposal. Use the file viewer button. When the file commander is open, you can access individual folders from the main screen here or from the menu on the left hand side. One of the great things about the file commander is you can actually access cloud storage solutions such as Google Drive. But you can also access information from the local network, a USB thumb drive, and also the internal storage of the panel itself. And this is very convenient when you want to access screenshots that you use with the embedded annotation tools. So you just touch the pictures folder, and from here, screenshots, and then image. And that gives you access to your selection of screenshots and whiteboard annotations.
To access the embedded whiteboard on the RS, there's a button labeled Discussion. Touch that button and it opens the whiteboard. And from here, you can choose your writing utensil on the whiteboard toolbar. There's a pen as well as a highlighter. Do a touch and hold on the writing utensil you wish to use. You can choose your color and your thickness. Once you've made your choice, then you can begin annotating directly on the screen. You also have the ability to erase anything on the screen, and there are a couple of ways to do that. One way is to make a fist and use that as an eraser. You can also use five digits of the claw, and that works well. But there are also eraser tools, as well as a clear screen tool, that's the broom button, on the whiteboard toolbar. Another way to access the whiteboard from the home screen is using the side toolbar. The second button, which looks like a pen coming down on a piece of paper, that gets you access to the whiteboard as well. There may be times when you'll need to get to the internet but don't have access to a computer. If the RS is connected to the network, you can actually use the embedded web browser to access web pages. Touch the browser button, and when the web browser is open, touch the URL bar, and that will get you access to a touch keyboard. Type in your web page. and then access web content such as ABC Yah. The RS can actually be set up to power on and off at scheduled times. The way to make that happen is access the settings menu. When the settings window is open, choose power on off setting from the menu. And here you have the auto power on and auto power off switches. When you activate the switches, it gives you access to the time that you can choose to power on and off. Tap one of the settings and then choose the time that you want, give it an OK, and it will automatically power on on that time with the days that you select. To power off the RS, simply press the power button twice. And that shuts down the entire system.